I had a story for many, many years about being unlikable, about people not liking me. And so I didn't take very many risks in my life because what other people thought of me really mattered a lot. My whole identity became about results, about achievement. That was how I compensated for my vast insecurities. And I had this amazing life I had. I was making tons of money. I was going to all the Oscars and the Golden Globes and doing all those great things. I had my career on track. I had the, the perfect outfits and body and all that kind of stuff. I was even dating some recognizable people. Like I was like living this life, right? If he can't make me happy, then there's a problem. <laughs> Everything I clung to for security and control and safety, everything the ego loved, got stripped away. No job, no money, separated from my family, totally unhealthy, and just thought I lost the love of my life. And I was laying on my bathroom floor, and P.S., ladies especially, why do we go to our bathroom floors? <laughs> like, why? They're disgusting! Guy <sighs> was on my bathroom floor. And for the first time, I think about how I could kill myself, how I could end my life. All human beings have some core misunderstandings. I'm not good enough. There's something wrong with me. I'm broken. I'm unlovable. We all have these stories that we carry around like heavy backpacks. And as much as we want to change them, we're still really attached to our story. And when we're carrying around that backpack of our story, life tends to affirm it. The universe is like, oh, if you believe that, okay, well then here's more of it. For most of us, we have this little zone of life that we live in called our comfort zone. When we step out of that comfort zone, a lot of fear comes up. Fear is basically what if followed by something negative. But it's those times when we just bust right out of it that we really learn who we are. And sometimes we do that by choice, and sometimes we're busted out of it. How many of you have ever been busted out of your comfort zone? You didn't see it coming. Or we decide we'll step out of our comfort zone if we know exactly what's on the other side. And we'll wait. And then we'll be like, okay, now I can do it. Like I thought you took a leap of faith and like you'd land on a fluffy cloud and the arms of the angels would be there to be like, wow, you did it. No, 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 no. There is a free fall. If you're waiting to do something that's, that's in your heart that you really want, if you're waiting not to be scared, you're gonna be waiting a really long time. Instead of just choosing something, moving forward, and then getting feedback from the universe as to whether or not it's in alignment or not, we analyze and rationalize and make lists and talk to people. Ah! <laughs> enough, 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 enough! Just choose, just choose, just choose. You can't make a wrong choice. You cannot fail. So when you feel that fear come up, follow that what if with something you want. Because anything in the future, you're totally making up anyway. So make it good. Where there's doubt, it's a no. And when there's any excitement, it's a yes. I love it when things don't go according to people's plans. I get so excited. Because I know they're right on the brink of a huge transformation. When you start responding differently, you start rewiring your brain, you form new neural nets. And you notice the things that used to trigger you in the past, really aren't that upsetting anymore. Your relationship with yourself is the most important relationship you have. If it is unhealthy, that is gonna impact everything in your life. If I treated my friends like I treat myself, would I have any? This isn't something we figure out with our minds. It's something we step into by having an open heart. That's where vision comes in. That's where inspiration comes in. That's when intuition guides us. No one can tell you what you're here to do because you already know it's already inside of you. You just gotta remove all the stuff that's in your way. When I listen to what's going on inside of me and I give up this story about having to prove something, this feels a lot better. We cannot control what happens in our life, but we absolutely have dominion and choice over how we respond to it. What is the story you wanna tell? And how has that old story really served you? The people who are really having it all by their definition, are the people who are willing to drop their story. The people that are moving from their heart more than their head. The people who are working every day to move out of fear and into love. Because when we are living our life and we are living in love, that is how we inspire others. And to me, that is how we're gonna change the world. Thank you very much.